Hey, what's up guys? Coach Nate here, excited to talk about the Brooks Glycerin 18. I have gotten a bunch of runs in these things, different lengths, different types, and I'm excited to share with you my experience. Uh, but first, let's get into oh, the- uh, uh, What's up? Hello. Oh, we in camera? This um, uh, yeah, we are uh, filming a uh, you know, sure view, you know, for the, the channel, YouTube, those guys. Wow, those shoes are like really, really dirty. Man, you're talking about these things on camera? I mean, well, like, sure, I've been running in them, and yeah, I guess they're a little dirty, but uh, I'm supposed to get some miles in them so I can review them for the good people. What do you want me to do? Don't get all defensive. Didn't mean to get all up in your business. I was just uh, making a comment. Sheesh. <sighs> New roommate. Uh, dude, can you just like give me like a couple minutes to film and finish this thing? Dude, please? you're like the running guy. I thought you were gonna go running with me this afternoon. Uh, it's not gonna take that much time and you can go and warm up. You know, we've actually got some great warm up videos right on our channel and you can do this right now. Warm up videos. <laughs> this guy, always trying to coach me and stuff. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna go get ready, finish up, and let's go running. Whatever. Well, let's carry on with this video and we will get into the specs while we have a little peace and quiet. Heard that, and yep, that's right, I'm wearing your sweatshirt. Okie dokie, let's hit the specs. This everyday runner comes in at about 10.2 ounces for that male size nine. It is a medium stack height shoe and it has a 10 millimeter differential from the heel through the forefoot. Uh, it has a decently plush upper, um, weave mesh, soft tongue, and the midsole is Brooks DNA Loft, which is decently light, very, very soft, with a little bit of springiness in it. So first impressions wearing this shoe, it and just kind of looking at it, it reminded me of just like a nicely constructed, maybe slightly overstuffed leather couch. Really, really comfortable, good looking. I like the colorways. Uh, especially in this one, no crazy designs. And uh, the tongue in the upper is, is kind of great. You kind of get this plushness with the tongue. It's like a little thicker than some of the tongues I've run with shoes recently. Uh, the mesh, same thing, just kind of this like firm yet gentle as they, as they go and giving you a little bit of room there, which uh, I really, really enjoy. And then, you know, it's durable or just has this sense of durability and, and, and kind of well-beltness to it, especially with this outsole with these, you know, harder rubber outer grip that is, well, nice and grippy. This thing is also classified as a medium width shoe. It's a little bit narrow. In fact, some commenters that I was able to see online have actually noticed that this Glycerin 18 is wider than previous years past, which is, I guess, you know, kudos to Brooks. That's kind of nice. For me, it always felt a little narrow at first, uh, but that changed a little bit as I started running in it, as you shall see in a second. And the shoe, guys, is soft. Like, it is really, really soft when you put in. Like, I was kind of blown away how soft it was. And that had me a little concerned with soft shoes because I'm like, man, is this gonna actually turn into a point of discomfort because it's so soft later on when I run? Okay. Running in them, uh, they still felt pretty darn soft, which was impressive, but not as narrow as I was initially worried or concerned about. I think just the upper gave me a little bit more room. Maybe this last was just a fraction wider than I gave it credit for. So I felt like, you know, snug fit, but a little bit more room for accommodation. Um, I found that with the 10 millimeter heel drop, I usually run in lower drop shoes. So this felt like a recovery shoe to me where I was just giving my calves and my Achilles a little bit of a break. And just with that kind of plushness of the ride itself made this a really good fit for me on some of those recovery days. You know, one of the pleasant surprises though was that this was more of an all-terrain vehicle than I initially gave it credit for. I 
tend to run on a mix of road and trail, and I've got a lot of great fire roads near my house, and then sometimes those turn into a single truck when I'm, you know, just kind of feeling it. So I love uh, shoes that I can start with and feel good on the road for a few miles, and then I can take on the trail. A lot of things to look for in a road shoe that doesn't do well on the trails, that you're slipping and sliding everywhere, and anytime you go off camber, you're slipping out of the shoe. I didn't feel any of those things with here. I felt good grip on the trail. I, I felt confident, even in this like dusty, rocky, gravelly terrain. As you can see, the shoe's pretty dusty as a result. And you know, my foot wasn't sliding around in it either. Even on some longer trail runs, I wasn't getting any blisters at all. So good job, Brooks. Now I did use them mostly for those kind of softer, easier runs, but I did want to test this shoe's performance because it's supposed to not sacrifice too much on its responsiveness. So I have this crazy hill back behind my house that I like to test this little Strava segment, uh, the Della Guero, Guero climb, something like that, but it's a quarter of a mile, 0.25 or 0.26, and it's about 11%. And I like to kind of sprint up this thing as hard as I can. And it tells me a lot about the shoe, like how the grip is. Do I feel like I'm like really spongy every time I land, or do I feel like I'm getting a good kind of bounce and return off? And you know, I was pleasantly surprised by the shoe. It didn't feel necessarily heavy on my feet, and I was even to get two seconds faster on that climb and reclaim the Strava KOM, so, you know, life goals, so pretty good. So I'll admit I had a little sticker shock at first when I saw the $150 price tag, especially for a shoe that's billed as an everyday shoe. But hey, it's a premium product. You get a lot of good materials in here. I think it's well built and I think it will last the mile. So if you wanna invest in a premium everyday shoe, you know, this could be a good option for you, especially if you're that person with slightly narrower feet. Um, the pluses for me was that, hey, it was soft, plushy, comfortable, uh, and it was adaptable and it could be taken into different environments. So I kind of liked that this shoe worked well for my easier recovery runs as well as getting on the trails. You know, my only knock was just the, the weight of the shoe and I didn't really get a sense that it breathed as well as other shoes I've been in. So, you know, this thing coming in a little bit higher, heavier, 10 ounces, not breathing as well, makes me think that I, I probably won't grab this shoe for my up-tempo work and for my races. So there we have it with the Brooks Glycerin 18. If you wanna get your own pair. Really dude, we're doing this right now. Do you uh, need any help Again? with uh, you know, all this? Um, that's kind of rude. What do you mean, do I need help? Well, some of us still wanna run and it's been over 20 minutes as you promised. So I thought I could, you know, come shepherd this thing along, speed it up. Wow, um, well, if you think you can do better, then uh, it's all you. Take it away. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, thought you'd ever ask. Nice little, uh, do, I, do I look here? Look over here? Okay, so uh, if you want a pair of the, the shoes, you know, go ahead and yeah. hit the link down below. Link. Uh, yeah, yeah. If uh, you have any questions, then you know, hit the comment yeah. section right there. Comment team, so make sure you're hitting that down there, right? Yeah. Mostly positive. Yeah, most positive. And uh, yeah, you care about the likes? Do you need the likes of the video? Yeah, thumbs up's good. Okay, hit the like button. Make sure so Let's more people can out. find this video and keep on mm -hmm. filming or whatever he says. Come on, man. I want to go running. Let's go. Oh. Think I could uh, take these bricks out for a run? Are we the same size shoe? You know? Test yeah, drive, think we're probably. similar size? <laughs>